our lecture today talk about respiratory care modalities. As introduction, respiratory care modalities are used when caring for patients with various respiratory conditions, and the choice of modalities is based on the oxygenation disorder and whether there is a problem with gas ventilation or gas diffusion or both. Types of therapy. We have two types, simple and non-invasive modalities and complex and highly invasive treatment. The simple one consists of oxygen and nebulizer therapy, chest physiotherapy and breathing retraining. The complex and highly invasive treatment consists of intubation and mechanical ventilation and surgery. Oxygen therapy. What mean by oxygen therapy is a administration is the administration of oxygen at greater than twenty one percent to provide adequate transport of oxygen in the blood while decreasing the work of breathing and reducing stress on the myocardium. How we assess the oxygen? We assess the oxygen by arterial blood gas analysis and pulse oximetry and the clinical evaluation. How transport the oxygen to the tissue? Depend on many factors. Cardiac output, arterial oxygen content and concentration of hemoglobin and metabolic requirement. Now, what are the indications for use oxygen therapy? A change in the respiratory rate, which may result from hypoxia, which is a decrease in arterial oxygen tension in the blood, or from hypoxia, which is a decrease in oxygen supply to the tissue. Hypoxemia may be lead to the hypoxia. Oxygen Toxicity is a too high concentration of oxygen greater than 50% is administered for an extended period longer than 48 hours. Now we have signs and symptoms for oxygen toxicity. Substernal discomfort and paresthesia dyspnea, restlessness, malaise, and progressive respiratory difficulty, and alveolar infiltration, which evident on chest x-ray. Now we have two methods to administration oxygen, low flow systems and high flow systems. What mean by low flow systems, which means that the patient breathe some room airs along with the oxygen don't uh, do not provide a constant or noun concentration of oxygen now nasal nasal cannula is used for low to medium concentration of o2 the advantage and disadvantage of nasal cannula The advantage is lightweight, comfortable, used with males without interrupting oxygen flow. The disadvantage is may cause irritation for airway and drying of the nasal and pharyngeal mucosa. Oropharyngeal catheter is rare used for short-term therapy and the advantage is does not require a tracheostomy. The disadvantage is the catheter should be changed every 8 hours to prevent irritation and infection. This picture describes the nasal cannula and 
or a pharyngeal catheter and simple mask and tent face mask. Three simple mask. The advantage is simple to use and inexpensive. The disadvantage is poor fitting and must remove to eat. Four and five, the partial rebreather mask and the non rebreather mask. The difference between two type is the concentration of oxygen. In partial is moderate concentration and in non rebreather is high oxygen concentration. The disadvantage of two type is poorly fitting and must remove to eat. Now the second type which is high flow systems which indicate for a constant and precise amount of oxygen. One trans, uh, transtracheal catheter is inserted directly into trachea. Advantage is more comfortable and because no oxygen is lost making it less expensive and more efficient. The disadvantage is require frequent and regular cleaning and require surgical intervention. 2. Venturi mask The advantage is the most accurate method for delivering precise concentration of oxygen and used for patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. The disadvantage is must remove to eat. This picture describes the venturi mask. 3. Arousal mask. This uh, mask used with the nebulizer. The disadvantage is good humidity and accurate FiO2. What mean by FiO2? Is the uh, oxygen concentration during the inspiration of air. The disadvantage of arousal mask is uncomfortable for some people. 4. Tracheostomy collar. The advantage is good humidity and comfortable and accurate FiO2. T piece. The advantage is connected to the endotracheal tube and is useful in weaning patients from mechanical ventilation. The disadvantage is heavy weight with the tubing. Face tent as the described in picture. The advantage is good humidity and accurate FiO2 and disadvantage is bulky and cumbersome. This picture describes the TPs and color. Now the mini nebulizer therapy is a handheld apparatus that dis disperses a moisturizing agent or medication such as a bronchodilator or mucolytic agent into microscopic particles and delivers it to the lung as the patient inhalation. What are the indications for use the nebulizer? When difficulty in clearing respiratory secretions, unsuccessful trials of simpler methods, mini nebulizer are used for patients with COPD and commonly used at home on a long term basis. Chest physiotherapy include for postural drainage, chest percussion and vibration breathing exercise and breathing retraining and teaching the patient effective coughing technique. What is the goal or goals for chest physiotherapy? To remove bronchial secretions, improve ventilation, increase the efficiency of the respiratory muscles. Now the postural drainage 
positioning the patient to allow drainage from all the loops of the lungs and airways. Several positions for this drainage of each loop. Head down, prone, prone position, right and left lateral, and sitting upright, as described in this pictures. picture. Chest percussion and vibration. When thick secretions that are difficult to cough up may be loosened by percussion and vibration the chest. Now effective coughing technique. Instruct the patient to sit and take deep breath and then execration the deep breath and cough two or more during one expiration. When the patient have a surgery, should press on the position of the surgery and cough. To support the surgery position. Now the complex and invasive respiratory therapies. Endotracheal intubation involve passing an endotracheal tube through the mouth or nose into the trachea. It is the must of choice in emergency care for comatose patients or patients with upper airway obstruction used with mechanical ventilation and for suctioning secretions from the pulmonary tree. This is the procedure of endotracheal tube. Now endotracheal tube may be used for no more than three weeks, by which time a tracheostomy must be considered to decrease irritation and trauma to the tracheal lining and reduce the incidence of vocal cord paralysis secondary to lingual nerve damage. What mean by tracheostomy tube is a surgical procedure in which an opening is made between the second and third tracheal rings and in dueling tube inserted directly into the trachea to assist with the ventilation. Mechanical ventilation is a positive or negative pressure breathing device that can maintain ventilation and oxygen delivery for a prolonged period. Now we have two types, negative pressure ventilation and positive pressure ventilation. The negative pressure ventilation, physiologically this type of assisted ventilation is similar to spontaneous ventilation. It is used mainly in chronic respiratory failure associated with neuromuscular conditions as the myasthenia graves. Positive pressure ventilators excreting positive pressure on the airway pushing air in similar to a pillow's mechanism, forcing the alveoli to expand during inspiration and used for patient with primary lung disease. Now what the indication for mechanical ventilation to use mechanical ventilation? Decrease in partial pressure of oxygen and increase in partial pressure of CO2 and persistent acidosis which mean decreased in pH and thoracic or abdominal surgery drug overdose in neuromuscular disorders and inhalation injury chronic obstructive pulmonary disease multiple trauma shock and multi-system failure and coma. Thoracic surgery Thoractomy 
What mean by thoracotomy? Creation of a surgical opening into the thoracic cavity. Performed. This surgery performed to relieve disease conditions such as lung abscess, lung cancer, cystis, benign tumors, and emphysema. Chest drainage system used of a chest tube and closed drainage system to re-expand the lung and to remove excess air, fluid, and blood are used in treatment of spontaneous pneumothorax and trauma resulting in pneumothorax. As general nursing management during the use respiratory care modalities, humidity must be provided while oxygen is used to reduce irritation effect and the nurse ensures the diagnosis and the prescribed oxygen flow and, ox and conditions for use. When performing chest physiotherapy, the nurse ensures that the patient is comfortable and not wearing restrictive clothing and has not just eaten. The patient is instructed to see the physician every month or more if indicated and blood gas measurement and laboratory tested are repeated annually. Thank you for, for listening.